Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wildcats have been their own worst enemy during this losing streak. Now, to take nothing away from the teams that have beaten them, most of these problems have been self-inflicted. As they like to say, they've got to get themselves off their own schedule, meaning stop making unforced mistakes and see if they can finally get a W. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. him hard at the 43. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Thomas is the punter. He's taken down at the 30. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. Oklahoma! Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Watson was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 33. They come out in a five wide set. Peterson was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. And 
he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He makes his way to about the 42. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 42-yard line, first down. He throws a dart to the right. They can't connect. Incomplete. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. He's got it with room to run. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 36. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Huge play for the defense. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. about five yards on the run. That makes it seven and six. Caught with room to work. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Seven yard line. He decides to keep it and gets the first down. Good decision there by the quarterback to hold on to the football and not risk a turnover. And he's going to come up with a sack. Total loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. They bring him down. I think these guys have come to play today. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. Quickly incomplete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. God awaits the snap. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clip it. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around, and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. 
That'll bring up second and three. Plays good for eight yards and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Let's go. Let's check, check. 200 check. Check. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. So at the end of one quarter, this one's scoreless. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. He gets rid of this one. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Hara is the deep man awaiting the return. Hara takes it to 25. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Swings it out there incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. He flings it left. Now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass interference. Offense. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. McBride will be the return man. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. That's a that makes it first and 10. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Kirk gets the ball. They'll bring him down at the nine. That's a deal. That brings up second and nine. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Red, red 18. Red 18. He is drilled at the four-yard line. 
So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Touchdown, Trojans. Great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 59-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at midfield. Tackle around the 43-yard line. it out and it falls incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it second. second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Five wide. And he's level at the 49-yard line. Loss of six on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Larry, Larry. Need it up. Mike 55, Mike 55. Best was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Mays at the 28-yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. About three yards on the play fake. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. USC is up by a touchdown. Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete. Short over the middle. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Arizona's going to use their first time out of the half here. Thomas is waiting for the snap. And the 45. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. 
Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 48. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Goff to punt. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. USC is up seven. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. The Trojans use their second timeout. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. Brought down at the 42 yard line. And he's tackled right away. Under pressure. He's hit and taken down. Looks to his back and he's got him again. And down he goes at the 13 yard line. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. And they make the stop at the four. We've played a half. The Trojans in front, 7-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. 
Rice from the one. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. USC's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Let's go! Red and Nice run there. He's to the 40, makes it out to about the 46. On the ground, inside. Decent run here, right side. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it third and three. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Hill gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up fourth and one. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. USC up seven points. Makes it to the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Hand off inside. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Right around the 38-yard line. First down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Taken down right around the 32 yard line. At the 32 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. USC is up a score. He makes his way to about the 18. Receiver and he dropped it. Second and ten. 
Ball on the 18. Quick throw, a five-yard gain. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. This is the ninth play of this drive. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the six yard line. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sanders from the seven. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Kirk, this defensive lineman has made a statement with his play tonight. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go when they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing it. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down and prevent him from making plays. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets out to around the 45. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. his way to the 43-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. down now and they need to get it down to the 33. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. The Trojans aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall much better here in the second half. So at the end of three, the Trojans lead 14-0. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop fires out to his receiver and he's hit immediately the quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off he was under a lot of pressure in the pocket hey they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play great pass Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled. 
tackle after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 22. He showed superb athletic ability on that catch. You know, the ball isn't going to hit you in the numbers every time. As a receiver, you've got to be able to adjust quickly and sometimes be willing to give up your body. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's level at the 36-yard line. From the 36 yard line. Second down. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. Arizona just took their first time out. And this play is number eight on the drive. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Receiver brought down before he can get there. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. There's a strike complete, and he is drilled at the 45. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. made around the 26 yard line not a safe pass at all really tight coverage and not a lot of room credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and he's tackled the nine yard line they come out on an empty backfield Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Reset, right, right. 
Second down and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Brought down right around the two-yard line. the tailback and he's met in the backfield this defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself so the offense stays on the field here it's fourth and goal from the four it's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with but when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Under a minute left in the game. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Kirk picks up two yards with the carry. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. From their own seven-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. That's good to have five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. This one's in the books, and our final score 14 0 Trojans. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.